wouldn't love to own a pet? Well, those people who wouldn't want one, but then again, those guys are missing half of their lives. Pets shower their owners with love, companionship, serious bodily harm. With that said, today we're going to be looking at 10 dangerous pets that people actually own. Make sure you stay tuned for number one. This creature attacked a celebrity. Twice. And got away with it. Now, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Turtles. At first you might think that I'm just out of my mind here. I can practically hear you now and probably see you also later in the comments section. How can a turtle be so dangerous, you might ask? Well, be patient for a bit and soon everything will be clear. Turtles can be some of the easiest pets to take care of. All you need is a fish bowl, a little bit of water, some turtle pellets, and you are good to go. The simplicity of turtles as pets probably is the reason why so many become the first pets of millions of toddlers all around the world, which really makes sense to come to think of it. I mean, you wouldn't want to entrust a puppy's life to a three-year-old, am I right? But I digress. Turtles are actually very dangerous, especially baby turtles. They are known carriers of salmonella, you know, that microscopic bacteria found in raw chicken and the reason why your home economics teacher told you time and time again to make sure that the chicken you're frying is cooked through. So before buying a turtle for your kid, think about what I just said first. Maybe go with a hamster. Number 9. Constrictors. Just because a snake is non-venomous doesn't mean you can take it home with you and cuddle with it in bed like you do with a dog and cat. Constrictors are very dangerous, even if they can't kill you with one bite. But it seems that people just don't know how dangerous these creatures really are. Well, here I am to learn you all a new lesson, so listen up. If you are of the disposition, baby constrictors can be quite cute, especially baby albino boas and reticulated pythons, and also the red-tailed boa, which is getting quite popular as a pet just recently. The problem is, baby snakes grow up really fast. And when these snakes reach maturity, even seasoned snake handlers find them quite hard to handle. They are also quite adept at escaping, so no matter how escape-proof your cage is, better think again. Otherwise, your neighbor's pet rabbit just might be tonight's dinner. What makes them so dangerous, though, is the same reason why they're called constrictors. They more than make up for lack of venom with their sheer strength. These snakes can easily strangle and crush the life out of any animal big enough to fit down their gullet. Now, just imagine that power slowly closing around your neck. Number 8. Scorpions. I think this one is more or less self-explanatory. If you know me, I'm not a very big fan of creepy crawlies, so whether or not this next animal on our list is dangerous, you'll never ever catch me taking it home as a pet and much less touch one of these things. Scorpions are very popular among exotic pet keepers. For one, they're very low maintenance. Give it a cricket or two and you're done for the week. They don't drink too much, especially the ones that are endemic to desert areas. There are many varieties of scorpions, both venomous and non-venomous. But whichever variety you choose to take home as a pet, they are extremely dangerous. The poisonous varieties obviously carry lethal doses of poison in their tails. If you get stung by one of these, needless to say, it's going to give you more than a bad day. The non-venomous varieties may not kill you, but the pain that both sting and pinchers can give you will be more than enough to teach you not to touch them again. So, be like me and stay as far away from them as possible. Number 7. Camels. Camels do not make good pets, no matter what some people might say. They're born and bred for the desert, not people's homes, and most definitely not to be kept as pets. Apart from their natural sting, they apparently are very randy buggers. A woman in Australia has been killed by her pet camel after the animal may have tried to have, um, sex with her. Yeah, that's a thing, apparently. First dolphins, now camels. The woman was found dead at the family sheep and cattle ranch near the town of Mitchell in Queensland. The woman had been given the camel as a 60th birthday present earlier this year because of her love of exotic pets. The camel was just 10 months old, but already weighed 152 kilograms, or 336 pounds, and had come close to suffocating the family's pet goat on a number of occasions. On Saturday, the woman apparently became the object of the male camel's desire. It knocked her to the ground, laid on top of her, and displayed what the police delicately described as, um, possible mating behavior. Camels are also known to be pretty temperamental guys. According to a report on Fox News, when a local TV news crew was out filming exotic animal farms, an 1,800-pound camel named Polo must have decided they were not shooting on his best side. When Polo became agitated, he attacked his owner, kicking her and sitting on her. Oh, and if you didn't know, camels like to spit too. And it's pretty gross. Number 6. Ostriches. 
As a couple of decades ago, you wouldn't even try and consider getting an ostrich as a pet. Nowadays, getting an ostrich is easier than you would think. Not the wild varieties, though. The red-necked and blue-necked ostriches are exclusive to the wild. Their domestic cousin, though, the black neck, is a different story altogether. Black-necked ostriches are bred and raised in captivity. Every single part of this ostrich has commercial value. Its skin, meat, eggs, bones, and feathers are considered premium quality goods, and ostrich farms have sprung up all over, like chicken coops. Only really big. Adopting a chick from one of these farms is actually quite easy, and honestly, just one look at a cute ostrich chick may just be enough to convince you to adopt one. But whatever you do, just please, please don't. Ostriches aren't the overgrown chickens you might think them to be. I mean, honestly, it would be better to compare them to a velociraptor. Quite fast, fast enough to run you down, very aggressive, and worst of all, the talons. Those talons are the worst of your worries. Large and sharp, the ostriches use them as weapons, and coupled with their world-renowned powerful kicks, it's bad news when one of these creatures suddenly decides to attack you. Number 5. Chimps and Monkeys We humans feel more affinity to chimps and monkeys compared to any other animal, more so than even cats and dogs, and that's probably because at the genetic level, the differences between these animals and humans are quite minute. It's actually quite a surprise that chimps and monkeys never gain the man's best friend status that dogs have. Well, like all things in this world, there is actually a reason for that. Yes, they're very adorable, and their resemblance to humans is quite amazing. But they are also known to bite and attack humans and animals alike for no apparent reason. I once saw the damage that a monkey caused when it attacked a dog in India, and let's just say those puncture wounds weren't pretty. The dog also lost an ear and an eye in the process, because sometimes cute is pretty deceptive. There's also the case of a woman who kept one as a pet, and her lover's face was then ripped off. So yeah, no chimps. Number 4. Venomous Snakes Humans can be bullheaded sometimes. Have you ever heard of biting the hand that feeds you? Well, feeding these animals will not only get you bitten, but there's also a high probability that it'll get you hospitalized or much worse killed. Yet thousands of people all over the world keep venomous snakes as pets. It can be done, if certain precautions and rules are strictly followed, but then again, even expert snake handlers do get bitten. And that's actually more often than you would expect. In Cincinnati, a man was bitten by his rhinoceros viper snake, which is one of the world's deadliest snakes. He did receive anti-venom and survived, but who really wants to take that risk? Just to stay safe, I suggest you follow the guidelines that I personally go by. Alright? <clears throat> they are snakes. They are poisonous. They bite. None of this is a good combination. Stay away from snakes. Subscribe to Top 5 Best. Number 3. Big Cats. Do Siegfried and Roy ring any bells? Well, it should, and it should be louder than the loudest alarm bell. Big cats, especially lions and tigers, are sought after pets by exotic pet lovers, the rich and the eccentric. Even Mike Tyson had a pet tiger once, and good thing he's moved on to raising pigeons, which is a much safer hobby. But I digress. Gone are the days when these majestic beasts are only in the possession of circuses and zoos. Nowadays, if you have a lot of money and the right connections, it's entirely possible that you can be the proud owner of a lion or tiger cub. That is, if you have the guts for it. And they stay in you. Yes, I know that you've seen videos online of lions and tigers that have been released into the wild, acting like cubs again when they see that person that raised them, but those are just isolated cases. More likely, having one of these creatures as a pet would end up with you getting mauled by it to near death. Or straight up killed. Just ask Siegfried. Or was it Roy? Honestly, I keep getting those two mixed up. They aren't that relevant nowadays. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be looking at the least like animal to pop up in your head when you hear the word pet. Number 2. The Grizzly Bear. So Grizzly Bears, would you like to have one as a pet? The answer, no. Unless your name is also Grizzly, and your last name happened to be Adams. The Grizzly Bear is one of the largest animals in the world. It's also one of the strongest. Worst yet, they are also one of the most unpredictable. On top of all that, they're also very intelligent as well, and can be trained to be docile and perform tricks. That's why bears are a staple of animal shows and circuses. However, there are also a lot of documented instances wherein the even highly trained bears remember that they are still wild animals and attack humans indiscriminately. So, given the grizzly's nature, is the photo that you're seeing right now real? Yes, it is. This whimsical photograph is actually the work of Russian photographer Olga Barantseva. She did in fact use real animals in all of her photographs. 
Mind you, all of them were highly trained, so the chances of them going berserk was minimized. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Kinkajou. In a case, I had no idea what a Kinkajou even was. But when I looked it up, I couldn't resist its adorable little furry buddies and those big boogie eyes. A Kinkajou, also known as a sugar bear, looks like a cross between a squirrel, a hamster, and a chinchilla. They're actually pretty darn cute, but again, it's always the cute ones. Paris Hilton has a pet Kinkajou named Baby Love. In 2005, she took it shopping with her and was attacked by the thing and it clawed up her face. The brilliance of this is that again in 2006, Baby Love sent Hilton to the emergency room after she was bitten by that cute Baby Love on the arm. And that's why this guy is number one on my list of dangerous pets. Because she's a cute rainforest animal that attacked Paris Hilton numerous times. If you manage to do that and get away with it, then you deserve to be on top of this list. Which dangerous animal would you like to take home with you and cuddle up in bed with? Let us know in the comments section below. Wanna watch more videos on animals big and small? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.